Hi guys, Sophie Ridge of Sky News attempted to give a Tory minister a chance to show some humanity and that Tory minister failed miserably. Victoria Atkins, the Financial Secretary to the Treasury, was asked about Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick's instruction to paint over murals of Mickey Mouse and other cartoon characters at a children's immigration centre in Kent because it provided too much of a welcoming atmosphere. Victoria put protecting a fellow Tory above her own humanity. Watch her dignity drain away in this interview. I don't believe you're comfortable with it. The decision to paint over, I, I don't believe it. Well, I, I, what I'm, I'm not comfortable with the idea that people would bring children across sure, in these of course. Of I, course I, I can I'm absolutely not. understand and, that. And but that's not the decision of the children, is it? Uh, they no, end up in the, uh, the... The decision to paint over this mural, it's a place where kids go, they must be terrified when they go and sit on those chairs. They don't know what's happening, they don't know what's, where they're going to go. And, and there was an active decision to paint over Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Are you which, happy with that? Which is why the fundamentals of how we care for those children That's is not my so question, important. though. Are you, are you well, comfortable with this? I mean, I, I, I you want, wouldn't have when, done it, would you? When children come to the UK in those very frightening circumstances, as we do, we want them to be looked after well um, and looked after properly by local authorities. That puts an enormous um, pressure, by the way, on the local authorities most affected by this. You know, Kent uh, is particularly at the forefront of this. We have got to work, we've got to find ways of being fair to British citizens because the more that um, people come across, the more pressures that puts on our public services. I mean, the figures speak for themselves. I, Four years ago, I, 300 people came across in small boats. Last year, it was 45,000 people. I think you can believe all of that and still be kind of uncomfortable about the idea that you're part of a government that would paint over this mural. I, I, look, I, what I care about is how those children uh, are looked after when they come here, and, and I'm confident that they are given the care and the welfare that we would expect, we okay. would want. OK. OK. Like, like you're given a number of opportunities to say, uh, I disagree with this, or I find it uncomfortable. Like, she didn't even go there. It's about protecting her colleague, Robert Jenrick. I don't believe Atkins here actually agrees with this. I think very few people agree with this. But she's in a position where she has to say, OK, do I protect my own humanity or do I protect a colleague? Well, I protect a colleague. I protect a fellow Tory. There's nothing stopping her from saying, actually, this was wrong. The minister shouldn't have done this. She should have shown some backbone. She can disagree with the minister. She can say, look, I disagree with this. Um, but it's his decision. She could have easily said that, but no. Defending a colleague, t defending another Tory is the priority. I it's sad. I don't believe for a second that Victoria Atkins agrees with this. And you saw here how Sophie Ridge was, g gave her at least two opportunities. And what did she talk about? Well, you know, we, we need to stop the bolts. We need to uh, we need to discourage people from coming here. We need to, uh, and then at the end, yeah, we, we make sure that kids are looked after. Like, how does covering up murals, how does covering up pictures of cartoon characters stop the boats? It's just a punishment. It's punishing children who had no decision. They, they were not part of the decision-making process to come to Britain. They're not the ones who decided to get into the boats. Like, I don't believe in punishing people who wanted to get in the boats in the first place. But if you're going to, you know, if you're going to criticize someone, it can't be the children. The children had no choice in the matter. And this is about punishing children. Um, I said before, I used to think that Robert Jenrick was pretending to be evil. But he, he seems to be evil. Because there's no political benefit in doing this. Very little. Yes, there are some racists and bigots who would be happy. But he actually went out of his way to do this. If he had not done it, nobody would have noticed. Like, it wouldn't have, brought, it wouldn't have been brought up. Oh, why are there murals in a children's detention centre? No one would have been calling for them to be removed. No racists and bigots, I believe, would have been banging on his door, remove these murals, and then him doing it in order to satisfy them. No, he decided himself. And unfortunately, he hasn't been challenged on that. Why did you do that? Why, why isn't he appearing on Sky News to explain himself? 
Why are they sending somebody else who probably deep down disagrees with this, but knows that she can't say it, otherwise, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll damage her career. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.